Hey allies, hope you're doing great today. Um, yeah, it's September, it's getting a little colder, it's been raining, and I'm really excited for the start of my talkie season. Um, that's going to be starting up soon here in Massachusetts, and just just pumped to be uh, getting out into the woods soon and um, finding some beautiful maitakis. Um, today, I want to show you how to use one of our mushroom kits. So, how do you use our kits? You know, they, they, you buy them off of our website, fungially.com, and they come in a box, and then what? So, I'm just going to demo uh, the best case scenario, what you'll do with your uh, mushroom grow kit. So first step is to order it online, fungially.com. We have all different species. There's lion's mane, shiitake, blue oyster, yellow oyster, pink oyster, a lot of different kinds you can get. And it'll come in a nice box like this, right? Whoop, nothing special. And you'll just break it open, open it up. And there'll be a couple things in here. One of them will be the grow kit itself. Uh, uh, probably a little sticker, a little Fungi Alley sticker. You can throw it on your car or um, put it on your computer or, I don't know, whatever works for you. Um, and then some instructions, right? So uh, we'll have these instructions that'll come with uh, the grow kit. And if some for some reason the instructions are missing, um, you can email us at Fungi Alley. Uh, at gmail.com um, and we'll, we'll send you the uh, instructions electronically. Um, so the first thing you want to do is just check out your grow kit, make sure that it is uh, healthy, that there's no you know, um, trichoderma or uh, some other contaminant in it. Sometimes they get a little bit broken up, so this one's a really nice solid block, but sometimes you know the shipping um, companies are a little bit rough with the boxes and shipping's really expensive, so sometimes we're kind of trying to uh, fit a lot into one box. Um, but if it is broken up, all you need to do is just kind of like shape it back into a form and let it sit for two or three days to let that mycelium regrow, right? Because this is, it's well colonized. All the substrate's well colonized with mycelium. And if it gets broken during shipping, you can just kind of reshape it and let it grow, grow back. And then after three or four days, it'll be ready to fruit again. So not to worry if the uh, bag comes and the uh, mycelium is a little bit broken up. Um, if you're not ready to fruit it, maybe say you're giving it for a gift in a, in a week or you're going on vacation, you just realized and um, you, know, you want to wait for, to, to start, start the fruiting process, you can place it in the fridge. Um, all of our grow kits can be placed in the fridge, except for pink oyster. Uh, pink oysters don't survive down below about 40 degrees. So um, those ones you just keep at room temperature. Um, but yeah, if you don't want to fruit right away, uh, just let the, just put the grow kits right into the fridge and let them just sit there until you're ready. Um, they'll, they'll do just fine there for two or three weeks uh, before they start just fruiting naturally. So once you get your uh, grow kit, and check it out, make sure that it's all healthy. The next step is to cut holes in it to start fruiting. So mushrooms really like two things. One, oxygen, and two, humidity. So those are the two biggest things that we're thinking about when trying to get good, healthy mushrooms. So let's see, I'll just grab a knife. Um, just grab a knife and for lion's mane, what I like to do is make little uh, V's in the bag. So just make one cut there and one cut there and we've got this nice V that the mushroom will uh, grow out of. And it's okay if you cut into the substrate a little bit, um, that'll be just fine. And I like to make another one down here, one there, just like that. And so we've got two holes on this broad side of the bag. You can rotate to the uh, smaller side and do the same thing, a little V here. And we can do this all the way around, right? So you want to make sure to give the mushrooms a little bit of space uh, to fruit. 
um, so that they're not just growing right into each other. So you got another V there. Um, so you can see, you know, I'm kind of going for the corners. So, you know, these two opposite corners. So when the mushrooms come out, they'll go like this, but they'll have plenty of room to grow um, uh, from each other. And just keep going. I got one more to do here. And there we go. So we've got all the cuts we need. Now we'll have mushrooms growing on all sides of this back. Um, with lion's mane, they like to fruit at the top above the, and this, this is called plenum, this uh, air, air filled space. So you can just fold this down, roll it down. And I like to, um, I, I like to just flip this over so it help, stays folded down. Just flip it over just like that. And there you go, we're ready to go. Um, last thing you'll want is a little uh, mist bottle, right? So you just mist the, uh, this bag. You know, if you do this a couple times a day, just really get it humid, just misty on the, on the outside, that'll be good. Um, alternatively, what you can do is use um, one of these, um, or I wouldn't, I wouldn't say alternatively, additionally, if you want, you can use one of these like 18 gallon totes or a similar vessel and put the grow kit in here. So you just take the, take the kit, put it right in the middle, and then it, it acts as kind of this little chamber that keeps the humidity high. So when you go to spray, you can spray all the walls, spray the walls down, and just really get it humid in there. And that will give you a nice humid space for the um, mushrooms to grow. So you can see uh, we've got it just right in the middle, and then you can spray all the walls and get it nice and humid in there. So, uh, and the, the, the mushrooms still have plenty of room to fruit, right, on the edges here. So they have plenty of room to come out of the kit. So that's, um, that's, that's how you would go ahead and fruit a uh, lion's mane grow kit. Now, typically they take about, um, lion's mane takes about two weeks for the mushrooms to form, and then you'll just harvest them and repeat the process, right? So they'll just keep fruiting for, uh, usually three or four flushes. So they take, they take 10 days to fruit to make a full fruiting body, and then it'll be about two weeks until the um, uh, grow, grow kit is ready to fruit again. So that'll just be a resting period. You don't have to miss, you don't have to do anything, just let them grow and, and rest, and then start misting again after that two week period. And the mushrooms will fruit uh, a second time, and then repeat, and a third time, and repeat, and a fourth time. Um, by the end of it, usually the, the grow kit starts to get some sort of contamination. And when that happens, I like to just put the, put the fruiting block outside in the shade. And a lot of times with that kind of increased oxygen um, outside and just natural um, temperature and humidity fluctuations, you'll still get a fruiting or two more. Okay, so what if you ordered an oyster grow kit? Voila, here we are. So if you ordered a oyster, um, the best way to fruit an oyster kit is a broad X. So you take this bag, same thing, inspect it, check it out, make sure it's looking good, and then just cut a big X. And again, it's okay if you stab into the substrate. It's okay if a little bit comes out. You know, you can be, uh, this, this mycelium is very tenacious and grows very, very strongly. So um, there we go, we've made our X. It's pretty big, you know, and I, I ripped that, I ripped this substrate pretty well. It's better if you don't do that. Um, but you can see you have this, this nice X and the plastic is still um, over this, uh, the, the, the material. So it's kind of keeping it humid. And we'll do the same thing where we'll uh, spray the top. Maybe we can put it in a tote if you have a tote. There's some space to keep it humid. And then the mushrooms will start to form kind of underneath this plastic. And as they grow, they'll push it back, push it back, push it back, and just create, create space for themselves to really fruit. So that's a great way to fruit oysters. Um, and the same thing as with the lion's mane is they'll fruit three, four times before they're uh, totally spent. Now, the shiitakes, or a shiitake grow kit, they are a little bit different. So shiitakes create this beautiful brown skin, right? And they're, they're much better at maintaining humidity. So a shiitakes, what you can do is completely remove the plastic bag. 
And if you're worried about like dirt or, or water or something, you can leave a little um, like a, I don't know, saucer or like a, you know, just a plastic protection at the bottom so that um, you, you have something for the block to sit on. So we're just removing the whole bag, taking it out. And now you can see here's our shiitake block. I left a little bit of the plastic on the bottom, but you don't have to do that. And you can see now the, the, the brown skin that this uh, shiitake block has, right? So the, the mushrooms form inside of this brown skin and then uh, start, start popping out of the skin. So that's it. And then it's the same sort of thing where you start uh, uh, spraying, spray all around it. And shiitakes actually love to be kind of like hosed down for the first three or four days while the pins are setting. So if you want to, you can take this whole block and put it in your kitchen sink and just hose it down with that little uh, nozzle thingy on most kitchen sinks or just run it under the faucet. Um, so that can really promote a good flush with the shiitakes. Um, and shiitakes for second and third flush love the outdoors. Uh, here at Fungi Ally, after we fruit for the first time in our grow room, we put the blocks outside and let them fruit outside just naturally and get great flushes, particularly this time of year in late August, September, October, they fruit beautifully. So after you fruit one or two times inside, take your shiitake block, find a nice shady area and just leave it outside and it'll continue to produce uh, good fresh mushrooms for you. Um, so those are some, some tips for how to use our grow kits. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment or um, email us. And if you like this video and want more videos learning about what mushrooms are, how to use our products, then go ahead and subscribe. Thanks a lot. Have a good day.